probably just buy an island and and <laughs> never leave it. <laughs> I don't know. I've become the older I get, the more of a hermit I become. <laughs> and like, I never leave my house, so I might as well have an island. <laughs> I mean, they both got their um, benefits. Uh, I liked being able to just sit down every day. <laughs> like it's it's a very nice job just sitting there. <laughs> but uh there's also similarities between them. I mean, he's kind of he can almost uh read minds in a similar way that that uh Edward can as well. In a sort of <laughs> I mean, I guess it's always fun when you don't have to when it's not a PG-13 rated movie because you can you know, just it's closer to your reality, you know. I swear and drink and stuff. I mean, and so you can do. You know, if if it's close to your reality, you feel like you have more options. Um, but uh, you know, you don't get to do big stunts and fight scenes and stuff. I mean, and not in this movie anyway. <laughs> you don't deal with it. I mean, it's just you can't do anything about it. I, I try and do the most interesting movies I can and uh hopefully hopefully people will like them. Uh but really, you know, you do you do it for yourself and then if you're doing something good then hopefully people will come and watch it. But as soon as you start um trying to do stuff for, for other people, it it's it's not a good idea I don't think. I mean, it's just people knowing too much about you. It makes your life as an actor more difficult. You're not as free because uh, people, the more you're in gossip magazines, the more people don't believe you in a movie because they've seen you too often. Uh, so you kind of, you have to hide quite a lot. Um, and then you can't have experiences which make you a better actor. <laughs> so that's a little annoying. It's it's a little nerve wracking. It's kind of exciting. Uh, it's sort of there's always one little difference every time, and also just see how different countries are, are different is kind of interesting. Um, the best thing is it going on for so long. Like it's been five years, uh, and normally people, you know, you get that excitement at the beginning and it all dies down. But the fact that it lasted is really great. Hmm. I mean, I've loved working with Kristen and uh, Paul Giamatti and this I thought was amazing. I've never really, I've never been in a scene with someone where I feel like I'm just watching a movie <laughs> in front of me, um, which, yeah, I thought he was incredible in it. Uh, who else? Working with Juliette Binoche, I mean, that's like one of my She's one of my like dream women. <laughs> Both. I mean, I mean, you can even get you can get inspired by I get inspired by terrible movies as well as good ones. Um, I quite like really bad movies. <laughs> like, just a, uh, yeah, but I, I probably watch more old movies than than new ones, but. Uh, but I like I like new movies a lot. Natural. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's like never. Yeah, being con confusion. <laughs> like that's probably how it works. Yeah, being permanent, confu permanently confused. <laughs> then you look like that. <laughs> yeah, dear readers, uh, especially if you're young. I would love to know what you think of Cosmopolis because it'll, it'll be a challenge for everyone to understand it. <laughs> Thanks.